Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker update, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. Why are puts more expensive than calls? Let's go to the platform and take a look. When you look at a an option chain, and let's just use a stock that's kind of close to its round number. How about Citigroup? Close to 45. So let's open up the 46 day options and if you go equal distance away from the current price, so the current price is at 45. So if we go equal distance away from the 45 strike, and let's just go 10 points wide. So if we go to the 55 on the call side, you can see those are trading for about 70 cents, right? Right between 65 and 75. So let's call it 70 cents on the call side. But if you go 10 strikes wide away on the put side, you can see they're trading for about a buck o two. And so why is it that the puts, the equal same distance away from the at the money strike, why are the puts more expensive than the calls? Well, we call it put skew. And the reason is, is because there's more perceived risk to the downside, right? People are buying puts as protection, theoretically. And so the, the puts are going to be priced higher if the risk is perceived to the downside in the stock. And that's pretty true a lot of times for a lot of stocks and a lot of ETFs and equity-related indices like SPY, IWM, QQQ. They almost always have that put skew, meaning the puts trade richer than the calls. Now, you will find individual stocks from time to time, like Roku and Shopify, for example, have been stocks that have a little bit of a call skew. Let's just look at Shopify. I haven't looked at it uh, from this perspective in a while, but let's see what it's looking like here. So Shopify is currently trading at 659. So 660 is kind of the at the money strike nearest to the money. So if we go, let's just go 20 points away just to take a look. So 680. So those puts are trading at about 59-ish dollars. And if we go 20 points down, 10, 20, these are trading at about 60. Okay, so you can see there's not as much. In fact, the, the puts here are trading pretty close to the same value. So there's really not any put skew in Shopify. And that just means there's not as much perceived risk to the downside. And if you see the calls trading significantly richer, that means that the risk of that stock is to the upside. And you'll see call skew where the calls trade richer than the puts in commodities like gold or oil or natural gas or some type of commodity where you'll see the perceived risk is to the upside. So that is the deal on put skew. So let's go to the market, see what's going on. If we take a look at the S&P 500 trading up a little over five, the market just closed. Stocks were down almost all day. And then we had a kind of a late afternoon rally and they came up a little bit to positive. Dow still slightly down. NASDAQ up about a percent and the Russell pretty flat. So kind of a back and forth day to day. If you look at gold, just trading slightly higher. Bonds pretty flat. Natty gas up over five percent. Uh, but a lot of back and forth action. So what's happening? Well, we added a double calendar in SPX. We rolled a couple positions. And let's take a look at what's going on with earnings. Nothing much after the bell today. We've got AIG. We don't really trade that much. Uh, before the market opens tomorrow morning, nothing really big that we trade. But after the bell tomorrow, we've got Disney. I know it's kind of blurry, but the Walt Disney Company, we've got Beyond the Meat. We've got Pinterest. And then before the bell opens, we've got Shopify on Wednesday, CVS, GM. And after the bell on Wednesday, we've got PayPal, Lyft, and then a couple other notables throughout the week. We've got Roku and Uber on Thursday. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So again, we're not doing a lot of premium selling during these earnings just because we're not getting that vol crush. So it's not really, we're not getting that bang for the buck. If anything, we'll do small directional plays using vertical spreads and things like that. Just remember to keep your position size small, stay safe. Hope everybody's doing well. Talk to you tomorrow.